Bees. Bees are another thing that I like. <laughs> I shouldn't call them things, but... I like, um... You social... Creatures. Like... Bees... And wasps... <laughs> well, it's not... I guess it's not... Oh no, it sounds weird to say I like wasps, but I kind of do. Um... And ants... And... Naked mole rat... <laughs> Naked mole rat is the one you social mammal. Or I think the only non the only you social non the only you social vertebrate, I should say. <laughs> yeah, you sociality is basically when you have um distinct breeding um casts in an or animal. So like, um... In bees, most of them are like sterile worker bees that don't reproduce, right? Only the queen reproduces. But that's very strange. Because... Nature does not like to produce things that... Uh... I mean... <laughs> normally, the way that... Natural selection works is to produce the opposite of sterility. But bees are different. <laughs> and other you social creatures. But I find it very interesting. And it's because well, actually I don't think it's actually because they're they have this their chromosomes are they're like Sex determination system is like haplodiploidy. Um, which means that I think the females are diploid, so they have two sets of chromosomes, and the males are haploid, so they only have one set of chromosomes. Basically, it works out so that like the worker bees are sisters, but Normally, your relatedness with your sister would be like 50%. But... With... Um... Wait, how is it? Oh, uh, I don't remember it very much. But I think with worker bees, they end up being like 75% related. So... They're kind of okay with like rearing their... Or, no, it's their nieces, I guess. I don't know. They're like okay with rearing their sisters <laughs> instead of their own children because they're more related than normal. I think I'm not getting the numbers quite right, but. <laughs> oh, oh. And, um. Actually, I think it's. Like the in the larval state of bees, I think it's just their diet that changes them from being a worker bee or a queen bee, which is very strange and interesting. It's if they're fed the royal honey. <laughs> it sounds so dramatic. I guess it kind of is. And then they like like their biology completely changes, you know, but it's like they could become anything. In the larval state. Oh. Did I say honey? I meant jelly. If I said honey. Royal jelly, yeah. I don't know what is royal jelly. Probably don't want to know. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Bring me the royal jelly. There are some bees that... Um... Actually, there are some bees that are really interesting because they can... Determine... Themselves. Like, if they want to become... A worker bee or a queen bee. And it, like, follows exactly, like, the mathematical proportion. Because, like... You kind of want to be the queen bee because then... You get to... Pass on your genes more, right? But you also... 
kind of don't want to be the queen bee because there can only be one queen bee and you're gonna have to fight the other queen bees and you might die as a baby so maybe it's better to just become a worker bee and have a, a guaranteed safe life but yeah they can like determine this in the larval state and it like follows the exact like probabilities of like you know like what are your chances of or like which one is better mathematically but yeah it does mean that if there are two or more queens they will fight each other to the death <laughs> it's pretty crazy what about ants i don't know as much about ants But they are also eusocial, which is why they have the, um, you know, the colony, the whole colony. And the queen ant. The queen ant just lives inside of the colony her whole life, right? And she's like really giant and fat. Right? That's pretty scary. <laughs> you can like dig them up. Well, you shouldn't. But you could. <laughs> yeah, ants are crazy. I have heard that too, that they farm other insects. They're crazy. <laughs> yeah, her only purpose is to lay eggs. Oh, we were talking about bees. I didn't get to talk about the naked mole rat. <laughs> well, they're like especially interesting, I think, because they're not haplodiploidy. And I think instead of like having. So there is like the queen naked mole rat. And she is the only one that can have babies. But it's not because the others are physically incapable, but it's because um, of the authority, <laughs> the like power dynamic of the queen does not allow it. <laughs> Which is very interesting. How do you? How do you? How are they okay with that? Uh oh. <laughs> Are they even okay with that? <laughs> How does the non queen naked mole rat feel? Are they happy? <laughs> We're going. We're gone. We're gone. That's 12. No. <laughs> That's 12 minutes. That's 25 wins, baby. Let's go. I didn't eat my yogurt. Mm. I don't want to think about bees and ants when I eat my yogurt. <laughs> Do you guys usually lick the yogurt lid? 